Coffee is renowned as the second most popular drink worldwide, trailing only behind tea. It was previously classified as a carcinogen, due to associations with bladder cancer. However, recent studies have led to its reclassification, as a non-carcinogen. This shift in perspective occurred, upon discovering that bladder cancer was more closely correlated, with the smoking of coffee during the roasting process. When coffee is roasted unfiltered, acrylamides, which are linked to cancer development, are formed. However, in the case of filtered coffee, acrylamides are effectively removed. The general consensus in the scientific community now suggests that moderate coffee intake is more beneficial than harmful. For instance, a meta-analysis encompassing over 20 studies with half a million participants indicated that coffee consumption reduces all-cause mortality by 3% for every cup consumed daily. Another meta-analysis highlighted approximately a 5% reduction in cardiovascular disease risk and a 6% decrease in diabetes risk. Significantly, coffee consumption also notably reduces the risk of Parkinson's disease, with studies showing around a 29% decrease per daily cup. A safe consumption level is considered to be up to 4 to 5 cups per day, with the upper limit of a safe daily caffeine dosage being around 400 mg. Regarding coffee intake and cancer, the most credible meta-analysis to date was published in the Journal of PLOS Medicine in 2020. This extensive study included over 3.9 million participants. According to this research, coffee drinking was generally associated with a reduced risk of several cancers, a 24% reduction in liver cancer, a 17% reduction in endometrial cancer, an 11% reduction in colorectal cancer, and a 10% reduction in oral cancer. On average, study participants consumed about three cups of coffee daily. The health effects of coffee are intrinsically linked to its composition. Caffeine, its most prominent component, is known to enhance brain function, improve mood, and boost metabolism in moderation. It is considered a stimulant that improves alertness and exercise performance. Moreover, coffee is rich in antioxidants, which reduce oxidative stress in the body, thereby decreasing chronic inflammation and the risks of chronic diseases. Trigonelline, another compound in coffee, imparts its distinctive aroma and bitter taste, and possesses antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Finally, cavestal and carwheel, found in unfiltered coffee, are known for their anti-inflammatory and anticarcinogenic properties. Caffeine is not just a stimulant, it can also have harmful effects. In some individuals, it causes anxiety, insomnia, and headaches. Acrylamide, a chemical that forms in coffee beans during roasting, is classified as a probable carcinogen by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Furthermore, unfiltered coffee, such as Turkish coffee, contains a high level of diterpenes, which can raise LDL cholesterol levels, potentially harming the body. It's also important to consider that coffee is often consumed with sugar, caramel, and other unhealthy additives, which can independently increase health risks. Generally, black coffee, consumed without sugar and additives, is considered the healthiest option. Filtered coffee typically contains fewer calories compared to brewed coffees like Turkish coffee, but still has around 2 to 3 calories per cup.